Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily missive. That's a good word, missive. I'll use that one for a change. Um, today's topic is about meaning what you say and saying what you mean. And I'm quoting from a song that I have got going in my head for the last two days, so I had to get it out about how you can do this in life and love. Before I jump into that, let me, let, let me, I'm going to introduce myself. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> let me. I'm going to do it anyway. It's my talk. Um, and explain why I do this talk and what I'm about and why you might want to watch. Um, my name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my broadcast. Um, I am an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, love and relationships expert, and best-selling author, author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples about love and relationships that will help you have a better love life, a better way of being in the world, and take care of yourself better as well. And I'm very biased about that book because I wrote it. Um, I'm a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which is why I help women create balance in love, life, and business, and also why I do these talks every day, which I've started over three years, excuse me, almost over, almost three years ago, called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Feminine Heart. So today we're episode number 875. Yes, there's a bunch of them, and I'll tell you where you can find the broadcast replays after I finish this talk, or at the end of this talk. And this is a Facebook Live, in case people are wondering why you're watching this. It starts as a Facebook Live, and it goes to YouTube later on again. I'll tell you all about that at the back end. So today we're going to talk about meaning what you say and saying what you mean, which is actually a callback to an old, old-ish song from the 80s um, by a band I was, I was, I loved when I was about, when I listened to them back in the 80s, called, the um, band was called The Fix, in case you're wondering. And actually, this is actually the title of a song. But what's coming up is because it was about, a sort of like follow through and keeping your agreements a couple of days ago. And this is kind of what the point about that. We have some pretty poor examples in our media or in the world, whether that's social media or um, television media, that are giving us some pretty bad examples of what that looks like, as in what it doesn't look like, in fact, where they're basically not keeping their word and not staying integrity. And that's the thing. Integrity is one of the core values I'm going to speak about here, because if you are saying what you mean and meaning what you say, you're in integrity. Even if you're saying things people don't like, you're in integrity. So my point in this one is to really speak to about how you can actually align to your truth and speak your truth, even if it goes against the grain of other people. And especially if it, you're in a relationship that hasn't worked for the last five, six, seven years. I was actually reading some posts recently for a couple of women I know who are going through the divorce proceedings and the challenges of that. But the thing is they said they had to stay true to themselves and speak their truth and own up to their own values to walk away in integrity even though it's going to hurt them, even though it's going to be challenging, even though there was going to be an opportunity where they could maybe do better financially by towing the line. And they said, no, I need to speak up for my truth. So I'm speaking to that in this context because, first of all, I applaud them deeply and, and bow to their strength of heart, but also to the integrity of being lined up with the values of what they say and what they do being the same thing. And I'm saying this way because when I say mean what you say mean and say what you mean, it also is do what you say you're going to do. So that is agreement keeping, as I mentioned in the previous talk. Um, and in fact, one of the most fundamental pieces we forget is that we can actually build self-trust, as in trust ourselves, when we keep our agreements, which means to do what you say. And also to mean what you say by keeping agreements with that. And it sounds simplistic to say it this way, but if you get this principle, this teaching, and you understand what it means, it will completely and utterly transform your life. Yes, this is big stuff in a simple package. So keeping agreements and meaning what you say and saying what you mean are ways of keeping in a very clean integrity with yourself. It's also a way of staying honest. And it's an easy way of being because there's nothing to remember. You just stay true to what's going on. So what I mean by saying what you mean and mean what you say is, first of all, you may need to find your voice. Now, I'm not talking about voice coaching in this sense. I'm meaning about the fact that maybe you've been in situations, relationships, whether it's romantic or business or something else, where you've got yourself into a situation where you're not willing to speak your truth. Maybe you're in a place where you're in a relationship where you've gotten comfortable with not saying anything because you don't want to, ripple, don't want to um, cause any ripples in the relationship. But you may be missing out what you really want. So my invitation here is to encourage you to really speak up and stand up for your truth, to stay in integrity, to stay in agreement with who you are, and to stand up for yourself, whether it is in business or romance. And I'm saying life and love because in this context, they're pretty interchangeable for how you can be in integrity. It's a pillar of my work, my own growth, and my own 
the expression of the world to stay as best I can in integrity, which sometimes means saying things that I'm most afraid to say. Like, it'd be easy to keep the peace and not say a word, but I would feel like I'd been repressing myself, holding back, not telling him the truth. And if you've been watching my Facebook Live since the beginning, and this is Facebook Live, by the way, as I mentioned, um, my earliest ones were definitely rants. They weren't necessarily um, teachings, although there was teaching in them probably, but there were definitely expressions of upset and disheartened feelings that I had to speak up for my truth. And sometimes meaning what you're saying and saying what you mean is, a, is expressed through being upset. So I'm not saying it's pretty or it's perfect or it's um, harmonious, except it is harmonious with your true integrity, by the way. When you stand up for yourself and speak up for your truth and you own what you value, everything starts to come into alignment. I use, the words that, use the word integrity because there is something about being integrated and being in a place of autonomy inside yourself, which is a powerful place to be and is the best place to live your life from in relationship and in business. It all, it all ties together. So my, my recommendation, my invitation, my encouragement is to find out for yourself where you, can't, where you are speaking up for yourself and standing up for yourself and speaking your truth and knowing what you say and saying what you mean, all the things I've been saying. It's like 17 different ways of saying the same thing where you're learning about being in your integrity and do more of that. Sounds simple, doesn't it? But also start noticing where you're out of integrity, where maybe you're promising things you don't deliver, where maybe you're being nice and not saying the truth, where maybe you're holding back on actually standing up for yourself and saying you need something. Because if you don't change course and start to stand up for yourself, you may miss out. You may lose out. You may not get what you want and you may suffer through life without really having what you want. So this is an invitation to be bolder in a way. It's an invitation to be more outspoken in a way too. It's also an invitation to claim your space, to step into your space and to have a voice that steps up, whether it's in business or in relationship. Again, both, both apply here. And in my work with my clients, a lot of times what it comes back to is they've realized they've been putting their power in like the back pocket for the last 20 years. And when you've done that, and I've done that myself in my previous life, previous life <laughs> in my past experiences in work, that I realize now I'd never go back to. You know, there's sometimes temptation to think I should go get a job and just do a nine to five thing because it's so much easier being an entrepreneur and being a solo in, in, a solopreneur and doing things on my own. But the reality is I know if I go back and work in an environment like that, I would not be able to conform anymore. That's a good thing, by the way. So if you're somebody who's finding yourself needing to stretch out and be more whole and being more expressive of who you are, know that it's worthwhile. Know that your choices are totally up to you. You may have put yourself in situations in a relationship or in career where you feel like you have to conform or fit in or suppress yourself. To be, to be approved of, or to be accepted, or to fit in. There's a quote that's coming together. Um, damn, which quote is it? There's a quote about, um, oh, it'll come, it's, it'll come back to me. But it's about basically being, that, that holding back and suppressing your voice and not stepping into your truth is not the way to live your life. So living, living life at half volume. And I'm suggesting you might want to live full out, expressing yourself, owning yourself, being bold in the world. Whether it's doing something where you want to care for people in a bigger way by your work you do or by the service you bring. Whether it's just changing the relationship you're in, maybe you need to walk away from it. Or maybe you want to change it, transform it, and shake your partner awake so you can both grow up. That's awesome too. That quote's going to bug me. If I find it, I'll post it below because I don't know what it is at the top of my head and it's on my mind now. It's like, I know the quote's in there somewhere, but it's not coming out. But here's the thing. Here's the bottom line of this, to simplify it, is to say that you really have the opportunity in this very moment to change the course of your life by stepping up and speaking more clearly into what you want to create, into what you want to manifest, into what you deserve, and where you want to change your trajectory. So integrity is fundamental to this because, again, coming back to yourself and staying in your own integrity and being integrated into who you are is the place you start from to be successful in the world. And I'm not talking about financial success, necessarily. I'm not going to say it's not possible, but I am saying that it comes from a place of ownership of who you are because when you do that, the universe, the world, 
those around you respond to that. And yes, you may lose some friends over it, and I've been there, I know. But I'm so much happier now than I was. So just thinking from personal experience, that, that willingness to step out, to stand up and speak out my truth, and to say what I mean and mean what I say, required me to walk free from some people who no longer served. I no longer served and they no longer served me. It's worth every moment, it's worth every step, it's worth the action, it's worth the choice, it's worth the intention to step free, because when you do, your life will be transformed. I am speaking from experience here, so I know this to be true. Um, I'm not sure there's anything else to say in it, really. And this is a bottom line point I want to make, is that you deserve to have what you want, but it requires you to step into your truth of speaking into your beingness of what you want to have. Again, say what you mean, mean what you say, and transform your relationships, transform your business, transform your life, transform your very expression. I'm not going to go any deeper on this. This is, that, this is actually what I'll do deeper in my coaching with my clients, but I want to give you this something to think about. So my invitation to you, my encouragement, my homework suggestion is look at the ways you can be more in alignment to your truth. To say what you mean, mean what you say, speak your truth, own your truth, and step into a place of ownership. Because your life will be transformed and you'll start to see things happen that you never dreamed were possible before. Play with that one. That's your homework assignment. <laughs> um, I'll put some links in the comments. This is a quick one today because I want to just get the point out there because I did an earlier broadcast in another group where I got all the crap out of the way so I could speak here because it didn't come out very clear there. So hopefully this is clearer. <laughs> um, this is my daily Facebook Live, as I mentioned, and I do usually put some links in the comments. So I'll put a couple. I mentioned my books. I'll put them in the comments, and I'll put a link in the comments to have a chat with me if you're, if you're a woman who's ready to transform your experience in a relationship or in life itself because that's the core of my work. And if you're understanding this makes sense to you, reach out and get support. So those two links will be in the comments. Um, this is my daily Facebook Live, as I mentioned. I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page on Facebook. This is, um, I say, episode number 875, so I'll tell you where you can find the replays. If you want to watch me live, by the way, just join me at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page, which is Barry Serby on Facebook. If you're watching the replays, you want to catch some of my past broadcasts, you can find them on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry barryselby.author. Uh, please like my page. There's a bunch of them out there. Not all of them, a bunch of them out there. But if you want to watch all of them, because you want to binge watch my broadcasts, you can do that if you want. I have a YouTube channel, um, which is also Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my channel. And a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine, where all 874 plus this one will be uh, listed. So you can peruse through the titles and find the ones you want to speak to, or just play them all one at a time. That would take you a few days, by the way. 875 broadcasts, that's a lot. But I appreciate the intention if that's what you want to do. <laughs> Again, links will be in the comments so you can get some help. Um, if you want to reach out for support, you can do that over social media. You can message me below, message me directly, or put comments below in the, in the comments. Put comments below in the comments. Yeah, you can do. You can put comments in the comments. I invite you to consider for yourself where you can step into your truth more authentically, where you can own your space and live in your truth and express yourself from a whole place. Because when you do, your life will change and you will be so much more at peace. Again, I speak from experience. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you being with me. I will speak to you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. And uh, as always, take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.